Hey, hello and welcome back. And this video is kind of two things. First and foremost, it is an enormous thank you to the guys on Reddit. I'll be honest, particularly a guy called Fiddler2K for comprising what is ultimately the most exhaustive list of compatible PS5 SSDs that are either confirmed or on the way to being confirmed right now for the upgrade slot on PS5. It's escaped very few people's attention that when Sony enabled this feature in beta software updates and quite selective um, invites to that beta system, it has been very pot luck based. And alongside that, they have not issued an official compatibility list for SSD support on their system. They provided a large list of specifications from sequential read all the way through to the physical specifications and more. But ultimately, that's about it. They gave information on heat sinks without even really calling out any one brand or another. And it has fallen onto the shoulders of, let's be honest, bloody heroes online who are spending their time and their money, more importantly, to go through and test the compatibility of numbers of SSDs. And although this video is definitely about me pointing towards the list in the description where I've got a link to NAS Compares where I've gone and I'm updating as regularly as I can the list of supported SSDs for PS5, all of their different capacities and heat sinks as well, I think it would be incredibly remiss of me not to take a moment to thank hugely the Reddit community as a whole. They've linked to other websites as well, but definitely Reddit users exchanging information on that mega thread. And of course, Fiddler2K's own massive compiling of that information into a simple to read database there. Go into the description. The links are there to everything I've talked about to find out about compatible SSDs. Now, maybe closer to release, PS5 are going to go ahead when the um, software update is official and not in beta, and then they'll tell people about compatible drives. However, in the history of PlayStation when it comes to PS3 and PS4, which did have upgrade slots available in SATA 2.5 inch form for hard drives and SSD, even in those cases, so they didn't exactly go out of their way to update compatibility lists or provide people with maximum lists of supported drives. They just said it's within this range of drives, this specification, it won't invalidate your warranty, but you have to do the shopping. And even then it was super annoying when they did that and now at PS5 for the beta update, it has fallen on to this band of heroes to go ahead and get these compatibility lists out there. So again, this video is a massive thank you to those guys, but also go to the links in the description for all of the resources right now to find the best SSD and heatsink for your PS5 update, whether it's now during the beta or later on when this goes to full release. Again, thanks guys. Click like and subscribe, sure, but visit those links and I shall see you on the next video.